and hello again and this time I'd like to feature or talk about a, a feature that's in the new uh, 3D designer and yes by the way this is artist this is not howler this is a 3D artist version 8.2 we are about to release that uh, this weekend pretty much uh, so you'll see if you get the free update to version 8.2 you'll notice after installation that it will be 8.2b actually Skyox egret still and um, one thing I'd like to just uh, highlight is this feature here so let's say we create these Z rings that's by the way a filter here on the render Z rings and you can set how densely you want these let's go with something close to the default here and then we'll simply add a little bit of a disturbance there. We'll go right click on the brush tool and let's use one of the oils, maybe totally oil or under effects uh, modeling clay and put a couple of dabs here or there and smear it around like so. So we just do a little bit something additional, some additional interesting features there. And now let's go take that into the transform filter and the 3D designer and uh, so the the feature I want to talk about in particular is down here at the bottom in the floating window it's the pre-filter and the anti-aliasing AA level by default AA is off and the pre-filter is at 50 so let's have a look at what these do <coughs> when you keep an eye on on particularly those disturbed areas there's a lot of noise here a lot of detail and if I reduce the pre-filter to zero, it's going to show even more. So that's going to be a lot of very fine details on the shading. If you pre-filter it and maybe all the way up to 100, it's going to smooth it out a little bit. And that's also visible here along in this area. Now, when you go dynamically change some parameters, you know it's temporarily switching to a lower resolution and so sometimes you'll see some artifacts along these areas but then the final render makes them smooth again so that's uh, the pre-filter um, let's go perhaps at this level and you'll notice now that you might get a little bit of an artifact there as you're dynamically changing it but when you let go and you're done with the final it gives it a little bit of a smoother smoother appearance um, let's go pre-filter up about 100 there you go so that's the one and then there's another feature which is uh, visible particularly here with high contrast and that's uh, also here and that's basically the anti-aliasing so when anti-aliasing is off you will even with uh, pre-filtering which uh, smooths inside the shaded area but as it goes to the edge and high contrast uh, bright to dark you're going to see the uh, the jaggies along that that line here you can't zoom in to see that uh, anymore but I guess I can do that in the video editor perhaps to show you that but uh, with a keen eye you will see you'll notice uh, in some areas like here you'll see some jaggies or staircases so the anti-aliasing can uh, fix that to some extent let's do this let's do a first render with anti-aliasing off okay that and now that it's done we can zoom in and we can see the detail right and there you go so you see the staircases really well um, one thing you could possibly get is a little bit of smoothing or anti-aliasing as you zoom in and that's actually a feature down here on the settings and I think it's on the GUI um, smooth scaling right so when when you scale you notice right there it already did it so when you uncheck it it's back to showing you the pixels just replicated and enlarged but not uh, smoothing whereas here with the smooth scaling it's doing a little bit of blurring but that's not anti-aliasing it's still it still has those jaggies uh, visible so I'm going to go now uh, store that one and uh, show you another way to render that so let's first undo go back to the previous image before the 3d designer go back into the 3d designer now same parameters still remembered All right so you can see the jaggies really well here and I'm going to now turn the anti-aliasing up 
all the way to five that's the highest level now that's going to take much longer to render because it's doing multiple passes and then subsampling but uh, the benefit is that it's going to uh, appear much smoother much uh, cleaner and especially in those areas with high contrast you know bright and suddenly dark next to that so check this I'm going to click OK and now this time we're going to have to wait a little bit um, that's going to take uh, perhaps uh, five times ten times longer to render but you now have a little bit of anti-aliasing smoothing. See how the jaggies are no longer a sudden step like we did before? We see sort of a transition there. And if you show it at 100%, uh, it's going to be much, much, much cleaner appearance. So let's, uh, let's uh, store that one also and then do a side by side. So let's go to image uh, store. There you go. And maybe we can show this one like so and this one over here uh, that's probably going to be the maximum size for that let's see if I can scale this one up both of them have a, a maximum size in the stored copy uh, yeah you can you can tell now <coughs> it's it's not uh, uh, at 100% showing the size here so there's a little bit of a side effect from the resampling uh, but you can tell still nonetheless that there is a little bit more jaggies here. I'm going to save these um, We can do that uh, right here as an emergency save I'm going to save these and then show them side by side inside the video program as uh, Without any scaling so then that way or oh, actually I'll zoom in so we'll see them uh, in a little bit more detail All right. Well, so that's uh, that's one thing that I thought would be really interesting to to notice is that you can enable anti-aliasing on your rendering and that's particularly useful if you have also very high contrast text bright text that you turn into 3d and you want that to appear the best possible on your output against maybe a dark background all right well thanks for watching and uh, go have fun with uh, pd artist and uh, come back for some more tutorials uh, really soon thanks